so question wave packet is defined so wave packet will be in momentum space you know it na? Gaussian wave packet right and that is a middle value and this is the expand of Gaussian function and this is one dimensional okay. so in your syllabus you can uh, see that they have uh, uh, told to discuss uh, one dimensional Gaussian wave packet so I am discussing that one okay now <coughs> what is the characteristics of this uh, wave packet now, I think the video is not clear okay maybe on the light so I think this is clear okay uh, so this is uh, defined this way that phi px square hmm, uh, is gives hmm, one e of its maximum at px equals to P zero plus minus delta p x. Okay, delta p x. Okay, that is this is delta p x and this is p zero. So uh, and also uh, this uh, this distribution is actually maximum at p equals to p x equals to p zero. Okay. So uh, first of all, uh, we we will uh, find out this constant value and uh, with the the same procedure that is normalization. So we will normalize the function. So just I will uh, do directly. You can see I will just uh, uh, do that. Sorry, five x squared. Hmm. This is in the dps. So uh, for that I need the help of uh, one equation. Uh, that is, suppose I am writing here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Maybe you know it in doing the thermal physics. Several times we have used this type of equation. Oh, oh. just a minute, maybe it's not clear. I think there is a problem with the focusing. So you can see this equation or doing some thermal physics already you have faced this type of equation and this results in pi alpha okay. Then exponential which is by by alpha. So uh, if we now consider um, if we think for our equation um, u as hmm, px minus p0 hmm, is alpha as delta px minus half ok this one hmm. if you put the thing and beta equals to 0 because we have no beta actually just we have alpha this one ok and also um, this one ok so if you consider this thing okay. and then uh, we will get uh, this is as you can do the calculation okay. yes so uh, you know this is uh, equals to this should be one so this should be one actually so from the equation we can get c square s and then this is right uh, so okay so for c you can write So uh, it is okay now. In, I will put uh, this C in the phi equation. Uh, I will get 
Now, if, if you uh, remember uh, uh, the Fourier transform um, that, if you remember that uh, that term uh, is written psi x. This is time independent function. Okay. So, if you remember this one, it is time independent. Okay. For the time independent part, you will get this kind of equation start okay px and dpx so if if you uh, replace uh, this high uh, px by this equation you will get shine simple okay, right so uh, now if we write shine x uh, more precisely you can write equals to zero right so what will be the equation i five is the constant so you can write here each cut minus half you can check it okay mm -hmm. each cut and another is constraints this one to each cut just I have replaced uh, this uh, phi term in this equation. Okay, shy shy equation, and I have got the uh, wave function. Okay, and similarly, uh, in, uh, you, you can get uh, shy xt, the time dependent function. You can uh, do it at home. Mm -hmm. So uh, now uh, we will, uh, if we uh, look at the uh, wave function, then you can see uh, that it is uh, except this uh, phase factor. Hmm. See this phase factor. Uh, the other term is actually also a Gaussian. Again, it is a Gaussian term. Uh, so, uh, if it is a Gaussian term, uh, then you can uh, let me see. Have I written all the things in the right way? Again, uh, you, uh, you can see uh, that uh, it is maximum uh, is maximum at actually uh, uh, maximum at x equals to zero. Right? Hmm. Maximum at x equals to zero. X equals to zero. Oh, oh, where this Gaussian was maximum at p x equals to p zero. So here uh, there is no such term. So it is x equals to zero. Uh, and uh, okay, uh, and also uh, it is uh, at uh, and it is one by e or the maximum um, when actually uh, x will be x equals to plus minus delta x. Okay, well uh, it was delta p p x right. You can see delta px. So here it is h cut. Huh. So uh, so what will be delta x actually? If you uh, make like the this exponential minus part, uh, if you make analogous to the, that part, you can find actually delta x hmm, actually is okay by delta hmm, px. Okay. So uh, here you can see that uh, this width, like, this is a width of the distribution. Hmm. Yeah. Interestingly, interestingly you can see that this implies actually delta x, delta p x equals to h cut. This is something known to you, right? This is this equation is something known to you. This is uh, something related with Heisenberg uncertainty principle. Okay. 
So in the next part, we will discuss Eisenbach and some of the about what is it actually. So for, for the time being, uh, now here you can see that uh, uh, easily you can guess that if we, uh, you increase delta x, then you have to decrease delta px, right? So if you uh, increase in the spatial coordinate and the span of this wave function in the spatial coordinate, then in the momentum space, the function will be spike-like. Yeah, because uh, you have to take the delta p s as a small part if you expand this because the multiplication of of, of these two factor uh, is which uh, cut so you have to adjust in this way that uh, the, this product is always each cut. Yeah.